Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Joe. Uh, I'm glad you could join me here today. Uh, today I've got another Bible review for you, uh, and it's a good one. Today I'm going to be reviewing the NASB MacArthur Study Bible. This is the, the top part of the box. Uh, the MacArthur Study Bible 2nd Edition in the NASB Translation. Um, you know, at the time of this video, the way at the time that I'm recording this video, I would probably say this is the greatest study Bible that's ever been produced in the NASB translation. The content on uh, some of the study Bibles that do come in the NASB, like the Life Application Study Bible, uh, the Zondervan Study Bible, even the first edition of the John MacArthur Study Bible, the content on that is stellar, uh, or on those study Bibles, it, they're stellar. But the best that you're probably going to get uh, in terms of physical feature is a genuine leather, which is, you know, pigskin, a genuine leather paste down liner. And while the content is really good, the outside of it um, is not going to be great. It's not going to be as good as what you're going to get with this one. This NASB MacArthur Study Bible 2nd Edition, it sets the bar and it sets the bar really, really high. Uh, since the NASB, the 1995 NASB, uh, may be not going extinct, but it's it's got an uncertain future. And I'm not sure if any other publisher is going to be brave enough to produce a high-quality NASB study Bible, which is a shame because I know a lot of people who would pick up uh, an NASB study Bible that had good high quality. Uh, so kudos to Thomas Nelson for... Uh, producing such a high quality study Bible in the NASB translation. Uh, this no doubt will reign supreme and will be the one to beat uh, maybe forever. Okay, so I'm going to go over the top five reasons why you should buy this Bible. Uh, reason number one is the premium European 39 GSM paper. This is the number one reason why you should get this Bible. Um, I love that first edition MacArthur Study Bible because it was gifted to me, but I can't sit with it for long periods of time. The ghosting in that paper is distracting at best. But this edition, it boasts a premium European 39 GSM paper weight, and the result is an extremely readable study Bible. And, and that's what you want in a study Bible, right? You want good paper so you could sit with it for hours without hurting your eyes. Um, also, with this high quality paper thickness, you don't need to worry about bleed through uh, if you highlight or write or underline uh, in the pages of your Bible. Uh, granted, you know, you don't use a Sharpie permanent marker, um, but I typically use a Pigma Micron and uh, some big highlighters and the paper holds up really, really well. Another great thing about this paper is that the pages don't stick together because of the thickness of the paper. Um, I, rec I recently bought uh, another study Bible with really thinner, lower quality paper, and the pages are annoyingly stuck together. It's horrible. Anyway, the star of the show is the paper, uh, the premium European 39 GSM paper. This alone should be the reason why you upgrade to this MacArthur Study Bible. Second reason why you should get this Bible, the goatskin leather. Any study Bible that has this quality goatskin leather is the clincher for me. Uh, this leather is thick, it's soft, and it smells really, really good. Um, it feels good in the hands when I and you know when I pull it from the shelf um, to study it. It just makes me feel really good. Um, the goatskin is floppy, which I'm not sure is good for a, a a Bible this size. This is about over two inches thick. Um, nine and a quarter by six and a quarter, right around that that uh, size. Um, so I'm not sure if the goatskin is really good, uh, being really floppy for a size uh, a Bible this size. But I like it. Um, I also like the shade of the brown that they chose. It's somewhere between uh, a British tan and a dark brown. Third reason why you should get this Bible is the 9.5 font size. I'm 46 years old, and my eyes are clearly getting worse each year. I'm currently in uh, denial about bifocals. Um, so anyway, this is a great service to me, that Thomas Nelson would uh, make a Bible that has a 9.5 point uh, size font. Um, it's not considered a large print, but it's plenty large for me. And this is the clearest, most readable study Bible that I own. Uh, this is a huge plus if you have bad eyes. 
Number four reason to get this Bible is the line matching. It's 2020. Everybody should have line matching. Uh, the fact that this study Bible has line matching both for the Bible text and the notes below is outstanding. Uh, again, it just makes it really enjoyable to read and to read for long periods of time. Fifth reason to get this Bible. Um, the layout and the design. I used to be a graphic designer and I love good design in anything, but especially in Bibles. One of the reasons I don't own those highly sought after uh, premium Bibles um, is because I won't. I know I'm not going to read them. The design, it looks like it's trapped in the 80s or 90s. Anyway, this is a truly modern update of the first edition MacArthur Study Bible. Um, it has double column paragraph format with the cross references at the bottom. And it reminds me of a, a Schuyler Quintel layout. Very, very beautiful. Uh, the comfort print design by 2K Denmark is beautiful. One of my favorites, and it's really second to the New King James uh, comfort print that they made. Okay, now one thing I would change, and this is just a small nitpicky thing. The one thing that I wish Thomas Nelson did differently with this study Bible is the accent color um, that they used for the subject headings, for the chapter numbers, for the charts. The color is teal. Now, when I think of John MacArthur, I don't think teal. That's not the first color that comes to mind. Maybe a dark, bold red or maybe a, a deep blue, you know, deep, serious blue. But teal, not the first thing that pops into my head when I think of John MacArthur. Anyway, that's a small thing, and actually, I, it's grown on me. I actually like the color now. It doesn't bother me. I just think it's funny. I just would never put the two together, Teal and John MacArthur. Anyway, here's my overall recommendation. I think based solely on the physical attributes of this edition, I would give this a you need to buy this study Bible recommendation. You need to buy this study Bible, especially if you're a NASB user, if that's your main translation. As I mentioned earlier, you know, there's no high quality study Bibles in the NASB and the NASB has an uncertain future. Um, so again, kudos to Thomas Nelson for producing an NASB like this in this edition. It is, I think, a, a tremendous investment and I for one am grateful for it as a NASB user. Now everything about this edition, if you pick it up, everything about this edition screams high quality. For me, for me, this is the one. This is the study Bible that will never be sold or traded away. I treasure this study Bible, and I think you will too. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please hit the like button. Please make a comment. Let me know if you have one of these already and how you feel about it or if you're going to pick one up. And if you can, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.